She did outstanding testimony. It was uh, very clear that she's knowledgeable about the law and the thing that best demonstrated that when one of the senators on the Republican side said to her, show me what notes you have in front of you. She held up a little pad from the United States Senate that had nothing written on it. So it all came from here because she is so qualified for this job. There wasn't any questions from the opposition to her that challenged her ability to do the job. She had sound basis for not talking about what might come to the court a month from now or 10 years from now because you aren't supposed to take uh, uh, show any prejudice towards something that might come up when you don't even know if the subject's going to come up. So she did the Ginsburg rule. You know, Justice Ginsburg, um, with her characteristic pithiness, used this way, this to describe um, how a nominee should comport herself at a hearing. No hints, no previews, no forecasts. That had been the practice of nominees before her, but everybody calls it the Ginsburg rule because she stated it so concisely and it's been the practice of every nominee since.